For the first time in over four months, Perseverance has collected another rock sample intended for return to Earth. But the process was different this time in ways that show there's something unexpected about this rock. On this episode of Mars Guy, Perseverance has been investigating curvilinear features thought to have formed from deposits in a meandering river that flowed in Jezero Crater billions of years ago. Known as point bar deposits, they form on the inner bend of a river channel and build as the channel migrates over time. Remarkable views from the Ingenuity helicopter show piles of rounded cobbles and boulders. Here's Mars Guy for scale. Rocks like these are common in point bar deposits on Earth, along with sand and gravel. Perseverance arrived at its current location on Sol 736, revealing a landscape of flat-lying, platy outcrops arranged in vague rows that give a layered appearance. A prominent slab within reach of the robotic arm offered an ideal target for further investigation. As usual, this started with a survey using the Watson camera to provide high-resolution views for both science and engineering. The abrading bit on the coring drill, like a geologist's rock hammer, was deployed to provide a relatively fresh surface for investigation. Watson revealed a coarse sandstone with notably angular grains, probably indicating that the sediments didn't travel far before being dumped in this spot. Elsewhere on the slab, the SuperCam instrument was used to measure composition, blowing away dust as its powerful laser pulses vaporized tiny bits of rock. Watson was brought in to document the aftermath. Then, in an unusual twist, the drill was sent to this same spot. Typically, a sample would be taken closer to the abrasion patch where key science measurements are made. And look how close the drill is to the edge of the rock, a bit risky for typically risk-averse rover engineers. Apparently there's something special about this spot. Here's a time-lapse video of the fully autonomous coring operation, which starts with the bit touching the rock, backing away, then repeating these steps, presumably to make sure the rock doesn't fracture, like some have in the past. The rotary percussion coring operation produces a 13 millimeter diameter core about 60 millimeters long. Here's the coring bit afterward showing the bottom of the sample. So why drill here? The team reported on March 31st that the rock is rich in carbonate, a mineral that forms in watery environments from carbon dioxide and other elements in solution. Carbonates on Earth are excellent preservers of biosignatures, so a key target in the search for ancient life on Mars. But also important is what carbonates can tell us about the ancient climate and atmosphere of Mars. The current Martian atmosphere is so thin that water would boil away, as shown in the Mars lab chamber running at less than 1% of Earth's atmosphere. Mars lost the once thick atmosphere that allowed rivers to flow billions of years ago. Carbonates in a sample returned to Earth could help document what happened to that atmosphere.